Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Unicorn Overlord. Last time we left off, we finished our first mission, got kind of started on the story. Oh! Select your difficulty, this can be changed at any time from the options menu. Focus around and join with the story, look at the win battles, tactical battles for first time players, or for those seeking a moderate challenge. Tactical gameplay for players familiar with strategy games. So this is what it said. <laughs> this is what it said when I played, um, what's it called? Um, Triangle Strategy. It was like, choose this if you're familiar with strategy games, which I was. But it was, like, easy, normal, and hard. They didn't have another difficulty. So since they have another difficulty, I think I'm going to play on Tactical. So, hopefully it encourages me to do more interesting things, because I don't want to play on normal and just, like, plow through. If it's too easy, if it's too hard, I can always turn it back down, but I would rather have some adversity to deal with. I just don't want it to be ridiculous. Like, I want to be challenged, I just don't want to have to do ridiculous things. Call to action. So we'll give it a test and see how it goes. Like I said, I'm thinking since they had four, it'll probably be good. Elaine, why have you stopped? We're surrounded. Wow, so we are. Welcome party I was hoping for. Get your vile claws off of me! Let her go! Holy I should have known you'd be behind this treachery, Renault. What is the meaning of this? Apologies for the icy reception, but we've business with the girl. What business could you have with Scarlet? Unhand her this instant. <laughs> no, I don't think that will be happening. I act under orders from Emperor Galerius himself. As for what he plans to do with her, that's not for one of my station to know. Yet I shall see it done all the same. <laughs> <laughs> Scarlet! Well, that probably hurt, getting trampled by horses effectively. My work here is concluded. I leave the rest to you and to your capable band. Don't worry, boss. I'll keep him in plenty more. Straight into the hornet's nest, huh? You gotta do something, Elaine. Hear me, soldiers of Cornea. I ask that you stand aside for your return prince. Alright, kid. Can't do that. Nothing personal, just following orders from the guy paying the coin. Damn. No hope of overcoming such numbers. Hi? Your Highness. With us, everyone, I beg you. Come, my prince. Okay. New friends. I'm ashamed to hear you met such misfortune before I arrived. Your Highness. This man is Clive, the knight we spoke of earlier. A pleasure. Still, it rankles the mind. I never would have dreamt that Galerius was after Scarlet, and not you, my prince. You fallen asleep over there, Hodrick? <laughs> who was that knight who took her? His name is Renaud, formerly a proud servant of Queen Elenia, not unlike myself. And just as I fell victim to Galerius and his foul magic, it would seem he has met with a similar fate. All the same. Why Scarlet? Perhaps her role as a priestess has something to do with it. Lately I've heard tell of Zenoira's desire to spread its roots into the orthodoxy, making one with direct ties a prime target. In any case, the risk to her safety is clear should she fall into Galerius's hands, and sitting idly by only serves to stoke my worry further. Let us be off at once. Wouldn't do that if I was you. No chance you're helping the girl if you don't even know where you're going. Uh, high thief character, I believe. And you are? Don't worry, he's a friend. A collaborator of mine by the name of Travis. Fancy way to refer to a spy. You need intel, dirt, or just the latest weather, I'm your man. And what of Renault? Road east, faster than a clap of thunder. I can only assume he's going for the city. But the real problem is his army of mercenaries. We won't have to Renault. We've got to go through them. Your Highness, we all share your sense of urgency, but we've no hope of aiding Scarlet without first routing the enemy before us. Right. 
We depart as soon as we are able. All right, sounds good to me. So that fortress over there serves as the enemy command post. Indeed, your highness. And the region will not know peace until we claim it as our own. House Carl. House Carls are excellent attackers who can lower an enemy's defense to deal heavy damage. As for us, this fortress here is our first and final line of defense. The enemy overruns it, we'll have nowhere left to turn. And we defend it at any cost, and proceed forth with extreme caution. Liberation Command Post is captured. Defeat Auburn. Okay. Stage start, so... Uh-oh. Uh, no. Um, tie, pause, thank you. Just want to kind of check things out here. So... What do we got here? We have a House Carl and another House Carl. They have Smash um, and Parting Blow. Attack an enemy inflicts physical defense minus 20% and activates at the end of the battle, attack a single enemy. Okay. And as far as skills go, Store two stamina, parting blood. Okay. So yeah, we don't really need to pay attention to that. We need to pay attention to what they have active currently. Leader effect can break gates and barricades more easily. Okay. So are these all just house carls? So yeah, it seems like I'm dealing with like a lot of the same enemies. I don't have to worry about oh okay, no, these have long thrust. Um attack a column of enemies with a piercing strike. Cavalry targets cannot guard against this attack. Grant plus fifty potency versus cavalry targets. Yeah, it's a spear. It makes sense. So don't send the cavalry after them. Okay, so cavalry takes out these dorks, but those spear users we gotta watch out for. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and send someone out. Forgive the intrusion, your highness, but I believe our units will struggle without the proper changes to their formations. Press triangle on the deployment scheme, uh, screen to adjust the unit's formation. For engaging the enemy mercenaries, press triangle to adjust a unit's formation. So, on the deployment screen I can adjust them, and before engaging mercenaries I can adjust them. Okay... Um... So, unit formation. On the screen you can add, swap, or remove members of a given unit. Perhaps we ought to explain the strengths of each class type first. What say you, your highness? Each character has a set class that determines their combat affinities, as well as what weapons and skills they're able to use. Listen to their explanation? Yes. Such information would prove quite valuable, yes. Please go on. As you wish, my prince. To begin with, cavalry classes such as mine are quite effective when facing enemy infantry. As such, you may always call upon me to dispatch infantry in your path. Knights are highly effective against infantry. You can traverse stages quickly due to their high mobility. Remember, your highness, that danger lies around every turn upon the field of battle. Yet the shield I bear is more than capable of defending our allies from harm. Hoplites. Boasting great shields, armor, and high physical defense, hoplites are stout warriors that excel at protecting their allies. Ending's not the only way to survive, though. You ask me, you're better off not getting hit in the first place. You put me in the front row, our enemies won't even be able to touch us. Thief. Thieves have high evasion, allowing them to swiftly dodge enemy attacks in the front row. Generally speaking, you'll find it best to place your sturdiest fighters on the front row while reserving the back for frailer combatants. Look upon the following formation as examples of how you may wish to deploy. Okay, but, I mean, the thieves seem to insinuate that we ha we can have, like, an evasion tank of sorts? Which greatly excites me, because I love evasion tanks. The lord in the front row will bear the brunt of enemy attacks, while the lord in the back row cuts down enemy infantry. The Lord and Hoplite will share the burden of enemy attacks, and the Lord will heal when he uses Lean Edge. Yeah, so... While the Knight, yeah, cuts down enemy infantry... Yeah, okay. And then Lord and Hoplite will share the burden, and the Lord will heal. And then Thief in the front row will draw and evade enemy attacks, while the Lord in the back can focus purely on offense. Okay, I feel like out of these, I would probably prefer Lord and Knight. Hmm, I don't know though, we would have to watch for that one spear unit. Um, Lord and Hoplite is just interesting. It really just depends on if I lean my Lord into more offense or more defense. I mean, obviously, Elaine's going to be good at both, but it seems like he can be very defensive as well. Um, hmm. Okay. 
I'll, I'll consider these. I'll consider them. Thank you, everyone. I'll be certain to keep this in mind when planning our formations. Alright, so... Details. On this screen, you can change a unit's formation, adjust members' equipment, and alter their tactics. Okay, so currently you have Lean Edge, Noble Guard. Um, can I add tactics? So, yeah, I can add extra tactics for this stuff. Um, I remembered where I recognize this kind of system from, from games that I've played. Mostly CRPGs. CRPGs have a lot of this kind of stuff where you can set up, like, AI for your, for your allies, where if you hit this threshold of HP, they automatically cast a heal spell or a defense spell or cast a stun and things like that. And I messed around a, a lot with that and, like, pillars and things like that. So do have experience with this stuff. Um... Recover 25% of the attack hits, 25% if the target is defeated. Tactics template. Interesting. Ah, uh, and we can save different ones and swap them out depending. There's even an optimize button. Okay, this is very, very in-depth. So, it recovers 25% HP if the attack hits, but also recovers 25% more if it's defeated? I think you heal, like, for 50%. Yeah based off of this, if the target dies as well. So I feel like... probably what I want to do... is prioritize combatants with the lowest HP. The skill will override default targeting rules. I feel like that's probably what I want to do. Possibly, with the Lean Edge. Because if I kill the enemy, then it's... then it's great. This would kind of make you more of, like, an assassin character, though, taking out the lowest targets. But if you get so much healing out of it, it seems worth it. But if I'm in a fight with a character that shields for them, it might not be as good. Um, activate for being hits. And then, yeah, we can set all types of conditions and things with that. Okay. Okay. Um, so... Edit. How do I... actually add people? Here. Okay, set character. There we go. So... Scarlet's been abducted. Uh, so... Hodrick. Travis. I mean, your attack is... Let's see. Yeah. I mean, I do like your crazy, crazy evasion. We'll, we'll toss you in. I like the... I like the thief and leader combo. So, uh, let's reposition you, put you up in the front. Having the thief in the front is interesting. Not many games that I <laughs> feel would recommend that. But if you're an evasion tank, tank, then it'll work. Um, so much of this is just gonna be me setting up stuff. I might have to do like I did in, like, Tactics Ogre in this game, where I kind of cut out the pre-battle setup once we kind of get used to things. Um, so we'll see how that works. Passive steal. Attack a single enemy, steal all of the enemy's uh, passive points. Does not apply if they guard the first hit. Evade. Activates before being attacked. Evade a single hit. Okay, so that's just guaranteed. But if you get attacked twice, you're, you're relying on your normal evasion. Okay, so passive steal. Can I...? Yes. <laughs> so target enemies... Target only combatants with one or more uh, passive points. Oh wait, no, it steals all. Never mind, target the one with the most passive points. <laughs> yes, no, that, that seems like it'd be amazing. So we'll just be able to steal from the character with the most passive points. And then whoever you attack, we can clean up with our other character. Okay, thieves seem fun. And I can set it to like evade when I'm at a certain amount of HP and stuff like that. We're gonna hold off on that for now though. Uh, also, Travis has super high high initiative. I feel like I'm gonna like the Thief class in this a whole lot. Um, alright. So, in Lex's unit, we have Chloe. Um, so... Resist range. Take less damage from ranged assists. And then gain more Valor points when defeating enemy units. And then resist magic. Okay, so... I'd like to look at the details about you, Lex. So... What were your abilities? Attack a single enemy, grants the user 20% defense, activates foreign allies hit by a ranged physical attack, cover an ally, and nullify all damage. I don't have any... Yep, I don't. 
Okay, so no new equipment or anything like that. Um, attack a single enemy, grants the user plus 20% physical defense. Activates four allies, hit by a ranged physical attack. Hover an ally and nullify. I mean, I feel like for a lot of these, I probably want to... Oh my god, we can even prioritize different types of... Oh, that's so good. Um, prioritize front row. Let's see, HP. Attack the... Prioritize combatants with the lowest HP. You're probably going to go after Chloe. So... Yeah, I mean, just kind of nailing down the enemies. So, let's see. Attack column enemies. Cavalry targets cannot guard. Yes. So, for that, definitely want to have you prioritize cavalry. That seems good. That seems good. Okay, and then we'll we'll look at some we'll we'll look into some other stuff at some point. But right now that seems Yeah. Cover an ally and nullify all damage. I mean right now that's just fine to have on at all times, but once we have more people in the party, I'll wanna set it to like the ally with the least amount of HP and stuff like that. Possibly. We'll see. That might eh, I don't know, because I would still want to use it every round. It's gonna change depending on like, you know, the battle situation and stuff. That's why they have us that's why they give us the ability to like save different um what's it called? I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Um can I send you back in actually? Withdraw, withdraw unit and recover one. Yes. I depart for now. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was a screw up. Okay. Okay, yeah, I accidentally pressed X instead of what I was actually trying to do, which is add people to your your group. Yosef. So, we have Hodrick and we have Clive left. Um... So I do have space to add a few more characters in. Uh, I feel like out of the squad, Yosef probably needs the least amount of help. Quite frankly. Um, so... How about... I mean, they're already very defensive. Let's, uh... Hmm. So you're good against infantry, which there's a ton of. So I'm actually going to add Clive to this group. Oh, wait, no. No, never mind. Yeah, it's two out of two max. So I have to add it to Yosef's group. So if it's going to be a Yosef group, I feel like I just want to cavalry so they can just run through people. And it looks like I'm not even using uh, Hodrick, but I really, really like Chloe. Um, I could swoop out, switch out, like, Lex, but what were the details about your class, fighter? Um, excellent physical defense can protect allies from long-range physical attacks, ineffective versus anti-armor and magic. I would like to see their various rapport, um, and, like, leader abilities and stuff like that. Um, leader effect... Quick rest, reduce wait time while resting. Uh, reduce wait time while resting. That's the morale boost. Reduce wait time while resting. Okay, so most of them just have like quick rests. Okay, so, okay, now now that that's done with, um, let's send out some units, why don't we? All right. So you, I want to. Wait and recover stamina. Okay. Yeah, so I want you to run there. To me. And then from the command point, I do want to deploy one more group. I'm going to hold off on uh, Joseph's unit. Um, just because I, once again, I would like to get my other characters XP. So both of you just, just move. Onward. And that's all I can deploy right now, so we will unpause. Never mind, we will pause because sure you're not actually moving. Um, let's get in there. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I should possibly put... I should have moved Chloe and put the, ca the other cavalry unit I had on one of them. That would have been the better call, since we are finding a bunch of infantry. Okay. I'm just, once again, I don't want Joseph to get, like, all of the XP, basically. We're taking, like, no damage here, though. 
No passive points for you. Gotcha. Nash, but nope. Evade. Okay, no. These... <laughs> this character seems so good. They seem ridiculously busted. Okay, so... You? Um, I would like to attack... Let's see... The other one. You're currently moving forward, but it would be cool if you could get the kill. But we'll... Because you're still, you're still on your way. Let's do like this. I guess they might get initiative on us. Because, yeah, I don't want to attack the one that's currently stunned. I would preferably want to have the other one. But... We do get first strike. Bang, bang. Yeah, the thief seems crazy good. It just steal AP. Like that. Oh my god. Finding, like, the best party makeups and stuff for this are gonna be very, very fun. Okay, so I am going to attack again. Um, here. Then I'm gonna tell you two to come in. We're gonna knock them back, and I'll have you go past them. So... Attack. Bum, bum, bum. Slashy, slashy. Okay, and we're not going to defeat them. We're just gonna, you know, defeat, like, one group. God. It feels like a waste to have my, my lord here, though, because you heal when you attack, but you don't need to with Travis. Travis is too strong. Maybe I should have put, like, Chloe with Travis or something. Because, yeah, these two don't need to be together. Engaging in battle consumes stamina. Seen on the shield to a unit's right. Units with zero stamina will be unable to move. Unit starting stamina is determined by its leader. Okay, and then we restore stamina by resting. When possible, your highness, you should try to avoid using only a single unit in battles. Should their stamina be exhausted, they will have no choice but to rest where they stand until it recovers. Select rest from a unit's action menu to command it to rest. The unit will then enter a waiting state and recover a set amount of stamina. Keep in mind, a resting unit is defenseless against enemy attacks. If an enemy engages a resting unit in battle, that unit will be unable to use active or passive skills. Well, that's terrifying. Um... Okay, so, like I said, I'm gonna move you... ...over there. And when you get over there, you're going to rest. You can engage that target in battle, though. So... I think they're gonna wake up. Damn it. Looks like they got their guys crawling all over the harbor. Judging by appearances, I suspect they have more units ready to join the battle at any moment. Facilities controlled by the enemy will occasionally call reinforcements. Try attacking the enemy controlling the facility if you wish to stem the tide. This will force them to heal, stopping them from summoning reinforcements. Aha, uh -huh, but it's also probably a really, really good way to grind. <laughs> uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know, they made it! Your villainy ends here. I don't want to fight you. Okay, fine. I'll kill you. I'm trying to let my slow character get in here, but... Yeah, they're just a little bit too slow. I, I should definitely swap out Chloe. Chloe should be with... Probably my thief character here. I feel like I have more defensive base units than I have, like, attackers. Alright. Well, I can send out another group now. So now we can deploy... Joseph. So, I want you to run, like, right down there. Um, you rest. You go get some combat in. So, gain two stamina, first time only, no stamina consumption, steady reinforcement, steady stamina recovery. Alright, there we go. So, let's, uh, handle a little bit here. They made it here first. I shall hold nothing back. Oh, and they win. Okay, no, no, no. We're gonna we're gonna let you two fight. Like I said, don't, don't want Joseph to get all the XP. Physical defense down. Oh wait, am I sending Joseph to the characters that I might be sending Joseph to the characters that um specifically counter him. There you go. Thank you. Good job, Chloe. Alright, so they got knocked back. You go over there. No, that's the character that will murder. 
Well, it, never mind. I mean, <laughs> Joseph's supposed to be weak to them, but Joseph's busted as I've been over, so... Um, yeah. Okay, take out that. They're still resting. So let's clean up here. This one's mine. Okay, good. We get a free win, basically. We'll be able to chill. This is super cool. I'm very, very much into this so far. I have you. There you go. Stop it now. Good stuff, Chloe. Just leave it to Lex. Okay, extra HP. Higher initiative is good. No I will take that. Alright, so, um... You... Uh -huh. Capture. Yes, sir. Um, you're moving. Your rest is almost finished, it seems. All right. So yeah, they're gonna just completely roll over them. They're gonna take one damage. But Clive and uh, Joseph have this. I have you. Affliction immunity. <laughs> God, you're so strong. Kablamo. Yay! I've not chosen my grave yet. Okay, so I just realized I should probably check what Clive's abilities actually are. Okay, assaulting lance, attack a single enemy, grants the user one AP if the target is defeated. Okay, definitely lowest HP. Definitely lowest HP. I like how they differentiate between the lowest HP and lowest percentage HP as well. That is quite nice. Cool. Uh, and then you have quick guard. Uh, block an enemy with an attack with a medium guard. Okay. So, yeah, no spear users over here, what so I'll ask? just send you, you to wish. engage in that. As you can see, like, Joseph's already level 20, so it seems like he's either getting lower XP or not getting any XP at all, so that's why the paladins is just usually not effective to, you know, invest in them too hard at the beginning. At least that's how it is in Fire Emblem, so it seems like it's pretty similar here. Also, Joseph is old man mentor character, so there's a very, very good chance he will die. <laughs> like, story die. Oh, kind sir, thank you for saving us. I hope this can prove useful in the battles ahead. A revival orb, thank you. Hmm, these ruins may hold something of use. You can find items by garrisoning in ruins. Okay, and that's the... enemy I have to beat, right? Oh wait, no, this is the enemy I have to beat. You. Specifically. Okay, this bridge... That's kind of an annoying group because they are spear users. Um, that might be... Let's see, you're gonna take out these in garrison. I might send... you... down there. Um, you are healing and can push forward through here. Obviously, it's not that big of a deal yet for me to actually be focusing on types, but I don't want to pick up bad habits by doing the wrong thing, so... We're just gonna stick with this. So they're going to continue to heal in the garrison. Good. So, Joseph's really fast. Clive actually has pretty low initiative, though, it seems, because... These other enemies get attacks off before I can do anything. But I can definitely see people falling into the trap with this game as well. Where uh, they're like, oh man, Joseph's really good. They just use Joseph all the time. Because yeah, look at that. Joseph gets 4 XP. And he needs 4,481 to level up. Clive gets 49. And he needs 100 to level up. Alright. Alright. Good. Um, so many Valor points. I haven't been introduced to the Valor skills yet, but when we get introduced to those, those will be useful, I'm imagining. Honestly, I don't even think I need to heal. Sure thing. Like, I'm sitting here being like, oh, I should heal, but... Maybe, maybe never mind, maybe we will. Um, I was letting my main character rest. Whoops. Um, not fail you. you need to move right here. By your word. There you go. Um, so yeah, we'll let you guys take this out and garrison in this ruins, but then I think I might like the other characters take out most of the other stuff. I would have just had Joseph, like, I would have just not used Joseph, honestly, if that was an option. I mean, I guess I could, yeah, I guess I could have. 
Yeah. I probably could have removed Joseph if he's not required for this battle and just ran like Clive and Hodrick. I should try that for the next fight. Just to see, because that would be much better. I would ideally just... Like, he might be needed in some instances, because he is very strong. Um, but... I would much rather be leveling up my other characters. Um, that reminds me, you need to garrison... ...in here? Okay, you need his garrison at the ruins? Got a Dew of Strength. What is a Dew of Strength? Um, you don't review the library, game tips, battle stages. Okay, so this is just like review all the tutorials. Fast forward, flow of battle, action order, flow of battle two. Yeah, I might go over all this stuff in more detail at once, but I think a lot of this is just stuff that we've seen before. Um, how do I see my items? Cause I got that dew of strength. I guess I can click on you and say item. Mysterious Droplet, um, brimming with power. Increases the target's physical attack by one up to five uses. That does not say it's permanent, so I'm assuming that's not permanent. I'm assuming that's not permanent. If it is, that's pretty wild. It does have a max of five though. But I'm assuming that's like a temporary increase. That would be my assumption, anyway. So, yeah, you're gonna walk, like, a mile over to there. And Lex did heal a little bit, so... We'll go ahead and send Lex in here. Alright, unpause. Hmm. Bridge there appears to be held by enemy spear bearers. Not only are they capable of delivering piercing attacks to an entire column, but they deal heavy damage to cavalry as well. Suggest you exercise the utmost caution in handling them, my prince. Some soldiers, uh, some skills like the soldier's long thrust can pierce an enemy unit, damaging enemies in the front and back rows. Combatants are ranged in a column are susceptible to piercing attacks. As such, you should try to stagger them instead. Yeah, can't I change unit details where you can just... Okay. Fine reminder, Clive. Let us consider well the enemy strengths before marching into a battle. Yeah, so... Um, I will reposition you to right there. So sometimes having them in a straight line together is not good. Yeah, yes, now we're sir. healing for instead of taking a ton of damage. So there we go. You don't stand a chance. Really don't. Let's get in there, Lex. Beautiful. So yeah, that's why we were getting eaten up. I think in the previous battle, I had a hard time. They line up though. They're not smart enough. Don't go dying on me. <laughs> don't go dying on me, me. Score one for Lex. All right. Um. Oops. Uh. No. Okay. Yeah. It was. It was. It was defaulting to the thingy. It's not what I wanted it to go to. God, it's gonna take forever for that character to get down there. Maybe I should just say screw it. I mean, could I? I might be able to actually. Let's let's give that a shot in just a second. Um. I might be able to swap out at the garrison. Um, my mounted character, Joseph. <laughs> Is aren't half bad. Come on, boys. It's time we teach them uh, what they're up against. Okay. There are more of them? You gotta be kidding me. Alas, it is no joke. I suggest we stand our ground and await their advance rather than charge blindly forward. Facilities such as town and bridges have a variety of garrison effects which are bestowed upon the units garrisoned within. These effects can prove powerful, so try to garrison units and facilities whenever enemies approach. If you wish to review a, a facility's garrison effect, simply mouse over. I mean, we also have terrain effects. You can now skip battles by pressing that. It's often better to watch battles play out, as skipping them prevents you from learning why a unit won or lost. Yeah. So, yeah, we have these that we gotta keep in mind as well. Alright, garrison at the bridge. You. So... Spend Valor Points, rest... So what happens here? To spend Valor Points to deploy a unit? And spend Valor Points, so... What would you ask? I think maybe if I get them back... 
here, the command post. Because I want to swap out characters, basically, and I don't think I can do it from here. Um, it's just saying, like, move, items, rest. Because it's just a ruin, it's not an actual, like, point, so... Yes, withdraw. There we go, that's what I want. Okay, okay, let's go. There we are. So, once you get back over there... Um, let's stop that. Deploy. I want to adjust your unit. Now, can I remove you? Yes! I can remove Joseph. Good. That's what I want to do. You'll be in my back pocket if I ever get in trouble, Joseph, but right now it's useless to have you out here. This is way better. Alright, good. Um, so let's put Clive back here. Let's move you right here. Um, what were the details on you? So you have Sting. Attack a single enemy, plus 50% potency if the user is below 50% HP. Okay. Um... Lowest percentage HP, sure. Well, wait. Target HP is lower than 50%. Target only combatants with 50% or lower HP. No, not only. The skill will not activate. Okay, yeah, no, no. We just want lowest. Uh, prioritize back row, cover an ally with a heavy guard. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. And then your assaulting lance. Attack a single enemy, grants user 1 AP if the target's defeated. And then, yeah, plus 50% potency. So you just straight up do more damage and you get a extra AP for it. Alright, so yeah, that's a much, much better squad. And... Right now, you're the leader. Take less damage from ranged attacks. That's not really a problem. So yeah, I'll take quick rest over that. Okay, that's a much better group there. I think. Um, I believe I also would like to try and, uh, oh yeah, they're deployed. I was gonna reposition them, but we can do that right here. So, let's move you to the side. Alright, and let's deploy, uh, Clive's unit. And Clive can go out. Alright, so now we can get Clive and those two some XP, because Chloe and Lex actually have a pretty good amount now, and they can knock them back, and then Clive can ride out and hurt them. So, this looks good. So they're gonna attack them, you don't stand a chance. they're going to tank it, and then we let Clive sweep it up. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm getting more comfortable with things, we're learning. For sure. Couple ammo. Cute first aid, it's not gonna save you though. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I guess getting in combat is a better way to heal if I have Chloe in the party than it is resting. Resting's kind of a waste when the heal is so good. Um... So... Now, this is a bit of a sticky situation, because... I think I actually want to advance with you. And then... You can try to kill there. Yes, this will work. Okay, so you two attack again. We're having to feed the low levels. It's just like, uh... Just like Fire Emblem. Come on, journeyman, come get your XP. Cute. Yeah, when I first saw this combat in the tutorial, it looked super overwhelming, but it's actually not once you know a little bit more about it, and right now, obviously, things are... Very, very simple. Okay, so this should be a free kill for you, basically. Um, they can't do anything because you're getting a first strike. Boom. Good. Now I should be able to immediately send you to the next one as well. Yes. So... Oh, wait, they wake up? I guess they wake up before I get over there. Because we're actually not doing that much damage. Why are we not doing that much damage? Let's let's find out. Why why am I not doing that much damage? Prepare yourselves. Hmm. I guess like like one of the characters is down. Huh. 
Unit details. Like what? What do you have that makes you first aid? I'm guessing it's the first aid. Like we we're not gonna totally kill them, so they're gonna have an opportunity to heal. Yeah, that must be it. Okay. Um. We can battle though. We get the first strike, but yeah, I think they're gonna heal or dodge. Yeah. Okay, they got the dodge. That's what it is. And they heal after. Okay. Did they have, like... Let me check that. Did they have, like, evade or something like that other character does? Or did I just have such a... Like, the game knew that I was going to miss there. First aid long thrust. Huh. Uh... Once again, just gonna send you in after them. I depart. There we go. So uh, yeah, finish. finish them off. Well, now we're doing our full damage. Doesn't seem to think that we're gonna miss. Does it actually calculate if you're gonna miss or not, like before? Interesting. If so. All right. So we have the ability to quick rest. So, I'm gonna have you rest now. You can move up. Oh, if they move in, they die. Um, okay, you go back to the bridge. Ooh, maybe I should... Never mind. Maybe I should have you move back behind the bridge. First, and then we can allow them time to kind of break in down here. Because what if you send an enemy after me? No, okay, we're good. You're, you're taking too long. Alright, we're totally what fine. Yeah. Okay, we can survive a little bit... ...with this. They do have pikes, though. I'm up. And your chances of... Yeah, you basically just die... ...attacking them. So what exactly is going on with this group? You have two spearmen... ...using the long thrust. And then you have crush... Attack a single enemy, inflict stun. Attack a single enemy, inflict physical defense down. And then activates at the end of the battle. So that's why they take so much damn damage. So yeah. We need a more defensive group to do it. Like Clive, or possibly even you two, since you will just straight up, like, dodge it. I'll prove my um. I mean, they're gonna heal. Steady HP recovery, so no, we're, we're not- we're not going out there yet. We need to wait for these two to wrap around. Then I'll go in there and attack with both. Alright. So, get in there, you two. Give me your passive points. That is by far the coolest ability of anyone that we've had so far. Good. They're quite the the little the little strike force. These two. Onward. Um. So. Yeah, I think. I mean, I think we're going to be clearing this, uh, cleaning this up pretty quickly here. I'm still using more time than I probably should have because I sent my like one group back, but still, I feel like it's going to go pretty well. Good. Hey, HP up, magic defense up. Well fought. All right, Clive's reached their destination. The path is set. Let's grab the bridge. Is ours now. Then the we move ahead. forward. Here, we're gonna be healing. Yes, yeah, see, that's I'm what we need. That's what we need. So I'll wait for you to get up there, and then once you're up here, we will just both attack them. Reinforcements have appeared. Um, and there is Aubin, leader of the mercenaries. Don't let your guard down even for a second. Stars displayed in enemies' uh, stamina represent the relative strength of their units. An enemy unit can have one to three stars depending on their strength. The enemy with a three-star rating is the commander for a given stage. Okay. Uh, whoop. Stage menu. Press the open the stage menu where you can review unit formation, save your progress, and more. Consider saving before critical moments, such as engaging enemy commanders. Uh, I mean, I can consider it. I think I'll be fine. Um, but I'll listen to you and drop a save here. Yes. Alright. So, go. Stand 
before me. Easy. You're gonna try, but it's not going to work. Kablamma. The battle is ours. Good stuff. Was fate which brought us here. All right. I'll prove so. Yeah, we'll do pretty big damage to you. Now I is when we can get in there, actually. So, yeah, go ahead and battle. You I could swap me. to you. I shall Your villainy stand. Come then. Since they're garrisoned, I don't actually think they get into, like, the, you know, like, weakened state. I think I'm actually going to let Elaine attack first, because if they manage to take out one of those soldiers, that would be less damage that we're taking with my cavalry. Finally came knocking. Apologies, but I fear we lack the time for pleasantries. <laughs> Figures. Let's get it over with then. If you say so. I will do just that. Nice try. Nice try. There we go. Get it a little bit of damage. Another dodge. We are going to be taking nope, nope, because you have a 48% hit rate. Oh my god, the thief is so good! Oh, Travis. Oh, I'm gonna love Travis. Even stronger than he looks. Can we truly defeat such a powerful opponent? He's not that bad. We can indeed. Our morale alone should be more than enough to see us through. You can use Valor skills during a battle stage. Use them by selecting the Valor skills option. Different classes have access to different skills, each of which consume Valor points when used. For example, Elaine's, uh, Elaine's Valorous Order still skill grants first strike to allied units in range, which will prove useful when fighting enemy commanders. Okay. Well then, um... We march. I would like to use... Valorous Order. Increases damage by 20%, reduce damage by 20%, and grant first strike. Increases XP earned by an allied unit by 100%. That's quite good. Steal gold? Okay. Honestly, I don't know if I need the Valorous Order. I feel like I would rather have the Royal. Duration for one battle. Because they're definitely going to be killing something, right? Eh, don't actually know if they're going to be if they're going to be successfully defeating something. I feel like I want to steal money and stuff, though. I, I really don't feel like I need the Valorous Order. Like, I can just optimize and get money and XP instead. So... Yeah. Time is at hand. Um, steal gold from an enemy unit. Give me your gold. How's this work? I, 752 gold, just like that. We march. Can, I, can I keep using that, or is it like a... No gold. Okay, so it's just it's just on that that one unit. Okay, okay. So now we are level two and level three. You are level two and level three. You're level two and level two. Sure okay, so we should probably move you up here, get you in on the action. If you make it here in time, you're kind of slow. But um, so let's see how. This works. Royal Order. I'm just curious. So it increases XP, 100%. I mean, I'm going to have to kill something to make that worth it. But maybe we will be able to kill at least one of the um, Spearmen? So, probably the one with 15 HP. Because if we can kill them, we'll get a big XP drop. Otherwise, it's like barely anything. There's the stun. Okay, and yeah, they're just they're just attacking Hodrick. That's fine. That is enough to kill, which gives me another AP. We're no longer incapacitated. Oh, we might kill two. Oh, you dodged it. You bastard. Okay, that's good though. We got one kill, and that's a hundred percent extra XP. Good. Okay. Yeah, I like that quite a bit. All right, cast another royal order on myself. I got all these valor points. I might as well use them. Okay, so yeah, this would be. This seems like it'd be a game that would be easy to grind in for sure. Um, 
All right, that's good with me. Um, honestly, don't want to attack with Clive's group. Uh, damage. I'm doing 13 damage. Is that enough to kill? Though is the question. The it doesn't actually say like which unit's going to die in this like little description thing, but I have the XP bonus on you, so I need to at least use you. So, if you get your attack off, we should be good. Yeah, okay, we're good. It was exactly 13 damage, so I guess that makes sense that, yeah, we would be killing you. God, that character's so good. Accuracy, evasion, crit rate, initiative. Yeah, these are all the things I care about. <laughs> Those are great. Thieves are going to be phenomenal. All right, so Clive could just run in here and just just destroy them. Um, honestly, at this point, maybe maybe we do just. Uh oh, I forgot to use. I forget to use my point, no. Um, I forgot to use my point. Organize. I forgot to use my get extra XP thing. I mean, we, we probably don't need to optimize that much, but it is a bummer. I forgot to use it again. I had so many points to use it. Um, kind of wild, but yeah, I can't like, after they're already basically engaged in combat, I can't now be like, no, we're not going to do that. Unfortunately. So. Your Valor skill is Fortress. Negate stage damage suffered by an ally unit. Okay. Yeah, alright. So, screwed up a little bit there by not using my, uh... My extra XP, but... Kablamma. Incapacitated. Sting. There we go, nerd. Eat it. God, that would have been a lot of- that was a lot of XP wasted. No. It's not gonna matter in the end, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, so I gotta keep in mind, you do need to use those Valor skills before they get in combat, because it didn't look like there was a screen there where I could- I mean, I could reset and do it, but I really don't think I need to optimize that much. I think we'll be fine. Okay, so yeah, make sure you use the Valor skills before they get in combat. Yay! A worthy foe. I got a Vitality Talisman. Max HP plus 10. Command post. Stage clear! Completion bonus, time bonus, liberation bonus. Yeah, my time bonus wasn't as good this time, but, uh, I tried. We got big honors and renown, though. But alright, we're learning. Alone, are you? What happened to your friends? Long gone by now. But with all the time about them? Never could have done without you lot chased me halfway to hell and back, though. The fort's empty, your majesty. Not a soul in sight. Guy laid out the bait, and we just had to take a nipple. Strange. Few leaders would play the sacrificial lamb in such a predicament. <laughs> Don't flatter yourselves. I would have shook you off like weak old mud if I hadn't heard my leg in our little scuffle. But hey, that's just part of the job. You're gambling with your life the second you take that coin. Then you know how this ends. Stay your blade, Lex. There's something I need to ask him. What does Galerius want with Scarlet? I'll take any scraps of information you may have, please. You do realize I'm just hired steel, yeah? They keep my pockets nice and heavy, and that's as far as my curiosity goes. So, sorry, but I'm not a questions kind of guy. At least not past my bottom line. Well, what do we do with him? Let's say I offered to fill those pockets instead. What then? <laughs> First, I'd ask if you still had all your marbles, but I'm not the discriminating type. As long as the pay's right. If this is supposed to be a joke, I'm not laughing. We're trying to beat the enemy, not hire them. 
I I mean I'm I I'm unbrainwashing them. It's not every day you come across a man willing to greet the heavens in order to see his allies safe. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're not buying them in that way, but, you know, I'm still getting the enemy to join us. That's what this whole game is going to be about, it seems. Now, our aim is to liberate these lands from the oppressive clutches of Zenoira and its emperor. I'd ask your aid in that battle. You know, I had heard you were nothing more than the crumbs of some spineless resistance that got chewed up and spat back out. Never would have guessed you're really just a pack of reckless lunatics. This so-called lunatic is none other than Prince Elaine, true-born heir to the Cornian throne. And our war is a righteous one. Yeah, respect the corn throne. <laughs> You're trotting around the crown brat of a dead and gone kingdom trying to flip a whole damn empire? Sorry, kids, but I don't like the odds. Doesn't sound like he's interested. <laughs> Hope you know I don't come cheap. Does that mean you'll join us? Granted, you're willing to foot the bill. King Megan's not an everyday job for a merc, but you've seen enough to know I'm worth the gold and more. So we got a deal? We'll even cut you a little discount. Yeah, you're gonna be weaker than your boss fight version, though. Always happens. Rip. Now that we've settled matters here, we move to rescue Scarlet. Time grows short. Indeed. It's more than evident Galerius had some grand purpose in kidnapping her. Delivering her from his bloodied talons may strike a heavy blow to the heart of his aims. Perhaps, but this is far sooner than we had planned. Our allies remain scattered through every realm of Fevrith. Casting the gauntlet at Renault's feet would only send us all to an early grave. If I may add, there are those among Galerius' adherents who willfully chose to betray the Queen those long years ago. I fear we have no hope of avoiding conflict with such... base traitors. It would seem we'll need to bolster our ranks then. Your Highness, upon ushering you to Palavia, I labored tirelessly to build a foundation upon which the Liberation Army can take hold. I have seen great suffering in our lands, tis true and yet greater resentment harbored by the oppressed and the downtrodden. I have every faith such fierce emotion will spur them to join our cause. My prince, fly your crest cross the banner of the liberation. Spearhead the rebellion against Zenoira, and you will surely find kindred spirits ready to take arms in your name. Then I will do just that. I only ask that you be the crutch I may lean on when the perils of war grow too great to bear alone. Alright. Choose a heraldic achievement to represent Elaine? What? I get to make my own banner? Oh. Interesting. Well, that's... that's pretty neato. Um... Let's see, what do I want here? Um... I kind of like the... I like this one? I like this one. That one's a bit too plain. This one's kind of cool. That one's a bit too plain as well. I think I like this one the most. Shield? What do we want? Uh... Ooh. I kind, of, kind of like this. Gives it gives a little bit of flair, you know. Coat of arms. Uh, I feel like three unicorns is a bit too much unicorn. <laughs> We're gonna go with that. Um, helmet. Hmm, what do we want here? That one looks pretty crazy. It's almost too much though. Hmm. Like, that, that's such a wild helmet. I think I want to go with, like, probably this one or this one. Yeah, this one's pretty good, too. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. And then the crown? Uh, I feel like I like that one. Although the red does really tie things together a little bit. Let's go with that. Left supporter. Ooh. That's different. 
Right, supporter? Yeah, let's put let's put this. Let's swap out the unicorns. I'd rather have that. That looks cool. And they have little crowns too. Um yeah, so let's let's go with that. Scroll? Ooh, okay. Uh can change how that looks. God, you can really go in depth with this. Uh I'm gonna go for that. Okay, and now we're back to now we're back to compartment. So now I can just do colors, right? Change color. Uh oh, so it's only for certain things. So the shield I can change color. I want purple. Yes. Sh okay, 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 we're good. We're good. Did not mean to change that setting. Um cool. So the coat of arms, I can change the color of as well. No, I can't, never mind. Er, no, actually I super can. Could I make it, how does it look black? Eh, I like the, I like the white actually. I like the silver, whatever you want to call that. The helmet, can't change the color for, none of those things I can change color for, but the scroll is the other thing I wanted to change the color of. So let's change that to purple as well, to kind of tie everything together. Yeah, it's a little bit darker than I would like, but I like how that looks. There we go. Let's let's just brighten it up a little bit. It's like it's just not the same color though. We'll we'll go for that. We'll go for that. That looks good to me. Um, do I still want this to be white? Let's look now at black. I don't know. That's that's kind of cool. Um. Yeah, we, we could just get rid of it completely. Just have a blank <laughs> coat of arms. Uh, I'm fine with how that looks. I'm good there. Yeah. Alrighty, alrighty. We'll we'll go with that. Look at my banner. I like it. It looks cool. It's purple. All right. Um, save. Slot one. Alrighty. And then you can choose from presets as well. Don't care about that, but... Alright! Save my progress? I would like to, yes. Alrighty. So, that is... Another episode down, so... Definitely still learning. We're getting we're getting used to all the things that are happening here, but I'm kind of seeing ways to ways to optimize things and all of that. And the uh, whatchamacallit system, um, with like you know your things go off when this happens and this happens. That's definitely going to take some time to get used to, but we will get there. So hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more. <laughs>